Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be discussing how to add color coding to your views in your project in Adobe Workbench. So we're going to be discussing how to set that up, what rules you can use uh, to add that color coding to uh, your fields in your project view uh, and Workbench. And then make sure and stick around to the end because we're going to be talking about the number one issue that we see people come across when they're trying to set up multiple rules and then it's not working for them. They set up a rule and it's not showing up how they think it should be. Um, and a lot of the times it's because of this one reason that we're going to discuss at the end. So make sure you stick around until then. But let's get right into it. So I am here in Workfront. I'm in my project view. And uh, we're going to add a new view. So we're just on the standard view. We're going to go up here, add new view. And we're just going to call this color coding view. Add a space there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get rid of a couple of these columns just to clean things up for us here. And then I'm going to bring in the task constraint field right here. The reason why you'll see in a sec, but we're basically going to use the task constraint for one of these rules. So now we're going to go on the do on field. This is where we're going to add the color. Okay. On this um, column on the do on field. Uh, to do that, so once we're on that field, we're going to go up to the advanced options, click there, and add a rule for this column. Okay, so the first rule we're going to look at is going to be based off that, that task constraint. Uh, so we're going to say task constraint is equal to must finish on. And we're going to say it's going to be this kind of nice teal blue color. We'll add that rule, save that view. Okay, and now if we look over on our right hand side, we can see the task constraint. You'll notice the ones that are must finish on are highlighted in blue, while all the other dates are just in the standard black with no background. Um, one of the reasons for potentially wanting to color code based off task constraint is if you have a date where you know you're using Workfront to calculate the date uh, based off the rules you have set up, based off the duration, based off the predecessors. Um, but later, or at some point, a hard date needs to be put in that's going to be the more accurate date. Um, that's when, you know, as you put in that hard date, it's going to change that must finish on task constraint. And it could be useful in that scenario to be able to distinguish easily by the color, um, you know, which, which of these dates have been put in manually versus which haven't. So that's one use case that we've seen um, for this using the task constraint as the rule for determining the color. Okay, let's go look at another one. So we'll go back into edit our view, go back into do on to the advanced options, and let's just edit this. And we're gonna this time go to planned completion date right there. And we're gonna set up a rule that's gonna make it so it's red if it's late. So we're gonna say planned completion date is less than, and we're gonna say today, right? So we're gonna use this wild card dollar sign, dollar sign, today in all caps. That's work front's way to know, okay, we're referring to whatever day is today. Um, let's change this color to red. So if the due date is late, it's gonna show up as red. So we have that. Now let's say, let's assume we are also wanting to kind of get a heads up if we have a task that's you know not late yet, but let's say it's due in the next month and we wanna no, hey, it's due. Um, so we're going to set up a rule for that. And we're going to say less than or equal to, and we're going to say today plus 20 days um, or one month. And let's make this yellow. So again, if the task is due within, you know, less than today plus 20 days, so basically a month from today, moving backwards, um, it's going to show up as yellow. So let's just see, make sure everything's looking how we want it to. Okay, here it is. So uh, today's the 24th, um, and you see if uh, the project is, or sorry, if the due on date is in the past, as these are, it will show up in red. If it's in the near future, meaning within the next month, it will show up in yellow. And then if it's beyond that, it will have no color coding. But let's imagine now, so we have these rules set up, but let's say, you know, we've completed a couple of these tasks. In this scenario, we'd probably be like, hmm, it's not 
doing what we want it to necessarily because this is a bit misleading. We're seeing it's red, it means it's past due, but it's actually complete. So let's look at a way to fix that. So we'll go back into review and we're gonna add another rule for percent complete. So we're gonna say task percent complete is equal to 100 then let's make it green, right? So if it's complete, it should now be a green color, correct? Right, that's what the rule says, let's see. But it doesn't work, right? We're like, wait a sec, why is it still red? So this is, as I mentioned earlier, this is the number one issue that we see people coming across when they're um, trying to build out these, these rules. Um, they build them out and then suddenly one of them just isn't working properly. So let me show you how to fix this. So we're gonna go in and the important thing to know is that these rules actually have a hierarchy okay so in order to get this to work properly what we're going to need to do is remove both these rules so that this one is now the first rule and we're just going to add those other ones back in so I'll just add those in real quick add the other one for due within the next month Okay, so now we have all those rules. You know, if it's 100% complete, make it green. If it's late, make it red. If it is um, coming up within the next 20 days, make it yellow. Now let's see if this is gonna work. And there it is. Okay, so that's how you fix that issue. So now these are showing up green because they're complete. You know, if we mark another one complete instead of being red, you know, we'll switch to that green color. Um, and that just makes it a lot easier. You know, maybe instead of green, you wanted to make it gray. Uh, you can make it so there's no color on it. So if it's, you know, mark complete, it just goes back to that standard. You have a lot of options, um, but that's how you do that. So just to recap and go back in to explain that last little bit, um, what's happening here is, so it's going down. So it's saying first, if it's complete, then we're going to mark it green. If not, move on to the next. Okay, then it's, that due date is, is late, then we'll mark it red. Okay, if it's not late, then um, if it's due within the next you know, 20 days or one month, then mark it yellow, and then anything after that, you know, there's no rule associated with it. So you just gotta re remember as you're setting these up that there is um, order logic to how these are set up going from the top to the bottom. So if, you're, if you ever run into an issue where you're setting up multiple rules in one of them, doesn't work that would be the first thing i'd check is make sure things are in the right order yeah well hopefully that was helpful uh, hopefully you're able to learn something new about setting up views in your project in adobe workfront um, if you enjoyed this video i'd love to hear, hear your feedback um, if you uh, liked it you know hit that like button um, hit subscribe we're going to be uh, sharing more tips and um, and tricks of how to use Adobe Workfront. Uh, so definitely stay tuned uh, and definitely feel free to reach out if there's if you have any questions um, you're running if you know you're trying to do something like this and you're running into any issues uh, definitely reach out I'll be happy to, to help you out any way I can. But thanks see you on the next video.